Yeah, it was uh, it was awesome for me to get my uh, to get my first appearance for the Lions, and uh, yeah, a good win for the team. A lot to work on, um, but no, I thought I thought it's a team definitely heading in the right direction with four more warm-up games to go. I feel sorry for Josh on that man match before he tries the hard work to you instead. I did. I said to him at the end, I was like, I don't know what that's about. But um, no, it's um, Jadzi played amazing and a lot of boys put their hand up tonight and played really well. Um, so yeah, I think that's a credit to all the boys who played tonight. Yeah, Hoggy was really good tonight. Obviously, he's been the captain for the last few years for Scotland. He's done an amazing job and I think tonight he led really well. He's obviously got a lot of other leaders around him, um, which probably helped him as well. Because um, you've got so many experienced players out there, but uh, I thought Hoggy did really well, and uh, obviously that standout moment where he tracked back and made that really important tackle—that was a big turning point in the game at that stage. And uh, yeah, amazing work rate by him uh, to get back and make that tackle for the team. And Finn is laid back as ever, even in the Lions camp, or is he got a wee bit of a, 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 I would say, uncertainty about him? But is he a wee bit of age? Nah, Finn's exactly the same. He's all good. <laughs> Cheers. Guys, who wants to go next? I don't want to wait around too long. All right, happy days, we're done. Thank you. Guys, 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 guys. I've, 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 I've asked three times. Let's just be clear, it was fine. Sorry, but you're going to have to repeat the question just to uh, a bit delay. So, um, yeah, I uh, mentioned to Stuart, uh, who captain's interview, that effectively you looked a lot sharper than you did tonight. Um, you were able to get the ball out quicker. Yeah, I think it's another it's another week on, isn't it? It's another week of uh, of Steve and the other coaches implementing their strategies. So it's players getting used to that. Obviously, it was a different test tonight as well. Um, a big physical team, but Japan, are, we you know how good an outfit Japan are. So uh, they, we got tested in different ways last week, in different ways today. Uh, I thought our cage defence, our defence in that our own 22 in that first half, especially, was really good. And we, there was a big turning point in the game where we managed to. Um, Keep them out when they're attacking for a good five, ten minute period. I think that was um, that stands in good stead going forward as well. Chris Harris really organised the 13 14 challenge as well for the Lions tonight. Yeah, Chaz has been amazing for Scotland over the over well since he got his first cap for Scotland. He's been a, a real defensive leader, and I think he showed that tonight as well. Okay. Cheers. Dan Schofield for the last question, please. Hi, I'm um, Hamish. Just on your own individual performance, what were you, what element were you most satisfied with, whether it was ball carrying, passing, defending, that you seem to be um, involved in the thick of things throughout? Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, no, I was, just, I was happy with sort of happy with my individual performance tonight. Um, I still think there's a lot to work on and I think I can probably still have more involvements but I think uh, as a team it was, it was a great performance and I think there's a lot to work on for, for Wednesday and for the next the next four warm-up games and we're going to get tested um, in different ways but I think uh, overall it was, a, it was a good performance by the team. Can you just give an idea of the intensity of competition for places um, and, and how that translates to um, the intensity in training? Yeah, I think training's been like you know when you go from club stuff to Scotland stuff and then to Lions stuff, it's uh, an even bigger step up. I think uh, you know that that was led from the front by people like Alan Wynn in the first few weeks, and now with the other leaders stepping up as well. Um, the intensity and training's right up there. Uh, short sessions, but everything's 100%. You have to be very much on it, and like you say, the the uh, competition for places is immense. There's so many good back rowers. Um, so yeah, every time you get a chance, like like Jadzi was just saying there, every time you get a chance, you've got to try and put your best foot forward and try and take it. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Cheers, guys.